Kenny McKinley's family. Uh, certainly this is a tragic loss for all Gamecocks, especially his teammates, coaches that knew him very well. And uh, our players will hopefully uh, do our grieving here next day or so, and we'll remember Kenny for the good times. And again, it's hard for us to comprehend how, how this all happened. Uh, so we'll, we'll handle it the best way we can here the next day or two. I'm not sure it's, if it's the exact same situation. Uh, Aros was just a freshman uh, that had just got on board and actually passed away from uh, something happened on campus there. Uh, Kenny's been gone into his second year now. And uh, so a lot of our players on the team now did not, did not know Kenny that well, but certainly the older guys, we all did. And uh, so it'll be uh, it'll be more involved with uh, the players that knew Kenny very well, trying to restore them and uh, get get their attitude uh, the correct way uh, when a tragedy like this occurs. So uh, this this is a little bit different type situation. Favorite memory is that Kenny really was the first player to commit to South Carolina. Although he committed uh, about two days before I was hired. And during recruiting, I said, uh, I asked him, why did you commit to South Carolina? And he said, I read in the paper that they were going to hire you. And uh, I, knew the, I knew the ball would be in the air and I'd get a chance to play wide receiver. And uh, I just remember when he first showed up, he must have weighed 150 pounds. Uh, real skinny kid. And uh, of course, he's the all-time leading receiver, yardage leader. Uh, probably the first big game was uh, the, the Tennessee game of 05 that we snuck in there and won it 16 to 15. He made several, several third down catches. And uh, the slant route and the fade routes, uh, he, he could run them as well as any receiver I've ever coached. Uh, so he was, uh, he was very quick, and of course we compare Ace Sanders to Kenny McKinley as far as quickness and able to get out of routes and so forth. Uh, but uh, yeah, Kenny was always a wonderful team player, well liked by everyone, never complained if he didn't get any passes. He'd block downfield, he'd do whatever you ask him to do. Team psychologist Dr. Malone will be here and our team chaplain will be here. So they're, they're professionally more equipped to do that than I am. So we'll, we'll let them sort of take over and go from there. My initial reaction is, is something happened funny. Uh, if he wasn't here, uh, it, it's hard to comprehend that he would take his own life. It's, of course, you know, all of us are saying that right now. We, we don't know what caused it or exactly how it happened. Uh, but it was just, just hard to figure out. No, all of our players said the same thing, that uh, when he was here, he was happy, smiling, usual Kenny. And, uh, in fact, I think he watched the Georgia game from my office up there because he was on crutches uh, from his knee surgery. And uh, I saw him up there right after the game. Uh, he was his usual self, and that's, uh, it's hard to comprehend how, how that could happen. Well, I met Kenny when I arrived at school my freshman year. And um, the week before he broke the uh, record, the receiving record, uh, he told me I was going to be the future of Carolina football. And I think I had one of the worst practices ever uh, on scout team. So, you know, I really didn't understand that until now. And, you know, just thinking about all the things he showed me as well as the leadership roles, you know, it's just something I embraced and, you know, he will be missed. Well, Kenny wasn't the biggest guy, but he had a, he had a huge heart. And um, I watched him take a hit across the middle of the field uh, in the Outback Bowl, and he jumped up and got in the uh, middle linebacker's face. And that's when I realized that, you know, he was special and he was a total team player. And um, off the field, man, he was just he was just a silly guy. You know, he loved to crack jokes and have a good time. And, you know, he was almost – he was a big brother to, to the younger guys. We, we haven't really – I mean, we just heard the news last night after practice, so we just prayed about it. But um, today probably – we probably really dedicated to him.